Hey guys, this is Exhaustion here, and today I have for you guys another review. And today we are reviewing the Rebel Ewing fighter, and it is set number 75155, and it has 659 pieces, ages 8 to 14, that's the re recommended age. The first minifigure is the Y-Wing Pilot. It has good back printing. And leg printing also. But one um, disappointing thing is that this pilot, they just reused it for the wiring pilot. But it still looks good because um, the Rebel Alliance did use these um nice blue jumpsuits you didn't really get to see any of uh blue jumpsuits in the original trilogy films this is the uh pilot with his helmet off and he does have a double face you have a angry and then a happy our fourth figure is Cassian. Quite liked his outfit in Rogue One and with like the jacket and all of that. It's pretty cool, but um, yeah. It's really nice back printing because it continues over from the front. It has a pretty good beard. And then also his front printing, he has almost like a water canister that goes from his torso to his leg. This is Cassian with his hair piece off, and he also has the gunmetal gray gun. He does have a double face. He is a serious, and then more of like a smoke. This is a second person. It is the Rebel Soldier. He has a jacket almost for his uh, back printing, which I'll show you when his hat's off. Very nice front and torso printing. Like how they did the belt. He also does have the gunmetal gray gun to his a back pocket on his little belt. The rebel soldier has no double face, but you guys can see the jacket better that I was talking about. That's very nice. He also has a kind of like strap thing. That carries over to the front to hold his little ammo or whatever. Our third person is Bistan. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong for the pronunciation. And he also has the gunmetal gray gun. He has some okay. Back printing, it's all almost in dark green, but I do like the little symbol on his back that I did add. It's the same symbol as the one on the front, guys. Just so you guys can know, it's just so dark that you can't really see much detail on the camera. But, um, he has a little belt almost that goes all the way through the leg. Printing. And his mold for his head is pretty good. I do like that little collar thing that they added for him. And it does have pretty good detail. You can even see the little ears. 
Our last person is Jin Oso. And she has pretty good... Like, she has this really cool poncho type cloth. Which she had in the movie, but they made it in like Lego cloth form. So that's pretty cool because it does leave like some new stuff that Lego can do. And yeah, make their people, some people look cooler. I guess. Like, you don't have to go to CAC anymore to get good cloths. She has a very nice mold hair and helmet and it also comes with this little um and i forgot like con link type thing and you can take off the snow goggles if you would like she also comes with a little pouch jane also came with a smart rocket and she has a Silver metallic pistol. She's double faced and back printed too. Like, with all the poncho and stuff, usually you don't even get to see this printing. But there's no leg printing. But that's still pretty good that Lego, like, did this for us. Because they really didn't really even have to include back printing, guys. Cause, like, you never really see much of her outfit, but she has a, uh, flight jacket. Goes to, like, the back. And her angry face. And her just, like, normal face. This is the Ewing. That is it's from the front view. That's from it's side view. And that's it's back. It has a cargo hold that can easily be opened by just pulling out a pin and yeah, you have a inside it's not very big to be honest but it can successfully fit all of the mini figures in it but it's not humongous so it is a very tight fit the ewing's bay doors are the same on the other side and how you open up this cockpit because it's hard to get out they made a little feature where you can just push these and as you can see it easily pops out. I just can't do it very well with one hand, guys. <laughs> yeah, see. It's like a little escape hatchet. And then pops back into place. Also, the Ewing's main feature is it has movable wings, which I'll show you now. So, this is the Ewing's attack mode, I want to say. Yeah, this is the Ewing's... Actually, this might be the Ewing's flight mode. But yeah, it's rather attack or flight. And to change it, you just open it up. And then there's another hinge. That's the Ewing's flight mode. And it has a pretty big wingspan, as you can see. It's in the game and show it all at once in the camera. The Ewing also has a missile feature, which is actually very well hidden. What you do is you tap this with this, and then, yeah, they'll come firing out. This is a closer look at the Ewing's back and engine detail. You have these, which can come off pretty easily, because I have a cousin who has this set, and these come off very easily for play, so... Just make sure you don't knock these off because they're just connected by a little Technic piece. As you can see, it's very easy to knock them off and then lose them like that. But other than that, the 
things have a very nice moving feature. And then also there's some secret compartments that you can hide your stuff. So you can hide Jin's rocket launcher or just some guns. And then this is very good detail. I do like this. It's like a little engine. It looks like a Wolverine claw piece that they use. As for front engine detail, they use some almost like mountain climbing pickaxes. And then also they do have some blaster guns. Blasters, yeah. And then there's also this little glass thing that you see, so. Yeah, and I do like how they added this because like, the Rebellion, you know, it has, like, used ships, so it's not, like, all, like, TIE fighter and, like, new, basically. Like, the Rebellion, it just, like, kind of shows that the Rebellion ships aren't perfect, kind of, guys. So, yeah, it's, it's been, like, worked on right here. So, yeah. So, that is my review on the Rebel Ewing. So, yeah, um, make sure to like, subscribe, and... As you've seen in my hauls, tell me what set you would like to see next reviewed. It will rather be something from my um, birthday haul, New Year's haul, and Christmas haul. So, yeah guys, make sure to check those videos out if you haven't. And then come back here and comment. And tell me also down in the comments, do you like the Ewing? And if you don't, what's your favorite Rebel fighter? Peace, guys.